Uh, we've uh, we had some, some bad news. We've had uh, five casualties to date. Uh, unfortunately, we must confirm that. Uh, we've had some, ca some, some uh, instances of, of injuries, a lot of flying debris uh, due to the very, very strong wind blustering and blowing all across the province that's causing some, some injuries across the province. Um, that, that, that remains a cause for concern. But at this stage, our, 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 uh, our commiserations go with the families of those that have lost uh, people's lives. And we're doing from our side and the emergency services side, doing what we can to, to limit the further, any further casualties uh, to within, the, uh, within our capabilities. Um, we, we're expecting uh, the situation to increase uh, in severity in terms of the wind in particular, as well as the ocean conditions. We, 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 we forecast, the forecast is are, are warning us of, uh, of wave crests hitting 12 to 13 meters along the coastal, coastal areas of the Western Cape. This is unprecedented. We don't really know what that impact, what the impact of that might be on our coastal, coastal areas. So we're calling on people along the coast to take care, to avoid the beaches, stay away from uh, the beaches. Please uh, stay indoors as far as possible, at least until tomorrow afternoon. We expect the storm to start dying down by then. We're also expecting less rain to take place. A lot of the rain has now moved on, but this, the wind will most definitely pick up. Uh, the ocean swells will be increasing. We're also dealing with a spring tide, which is not helping things at all. Um, and we're expecting a lot more snow. We've had some snow in, in, in the internal regions of the Western Cape. That's going to cause temperatures to plummet, especially later tonight. So, and then with regards to schools, um, we, we're comfortable with the decision taken yesterday by the Prem, by Premier Zola and her cabinet uh, uh, allowing us to close the schools for today. We believe it had a massive effect on managing the situation across the province, made it possible for emergency services to respond as quickly as they have. And we want to thank them for the, they've done a lot of hard work since late last night, worked throughout the night, including colleagues on this panel. Um, and we want to thank those guys and women who still are doing, is do, are doing amazing work. Um, just an indication of uh, schools, we've had about 13 that have had se severe damage, including roofs blown off, uh, trees collapsing over school gates. Uh, further indication of the call that was made uh, in, our, in our mind, which was the, right, the correct call to make.